Hello, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here and you're into photography, video making, tech gear reviews, drones and 3D printing, start now by subscribing and hitting the bell so you won't miss anything. We're talking filament today and in particular we're reviewing the Azure Film. They were so kind to send me a couple of spools to try out and today we're going to review the Silk Lila and I liked it. I liked it a lot. So when you buy silk PLA filament or any kind of material that shines and has this kind of effect, you buy it for a reason, you buy it for a purpose, you buy it to show it off, you buy it to create objects that are gonna stay there, lay out like tabletops, vases and beautiful ornamental stuff and pieces and you don't buy them like to, to create gear that will have usage or uh, friction like so they would ruin themselves but you buy it for this and the result you expect from a silk PLA is this even touching it it's soft as silk and today I did a different kind of review usually I print out some benches to see how the PLA performs but in this case instead of benches I wanted to try out of course, I printed out a Calicat, that's never missing in my reviews. I love this kind of model because it shows if the PLA has flows. I don't know if you can see it. It's pretty damn good. No stringing at all. PLA acts really, really good. So this, like, Calicat turned out okay I mean it looks nice it's a waste of of PLA because you print a calicut and you leave it there just to understand how the PLA reacts to the to the to the print and then I printed out this dragon which I really loved I, I had printed out this in different PLAs and I wanted to test it out in the silk the result is good I mean no particular settings on the on the printer just 2.0 got the right temperature at 205 and it turned out great then I wanted to try it out with something more you know uh, hard to print something particular something really really small this is a small Michael Jordan Michael Jordan shoe printed at 1.6 and <laughs> it's a keyring it has the whole like to hang your keys it was a, it was an experiment when I started printing it I said no this is not gonna turn right but at the end really looked okay put a little bit of support under here I mean, judge yourself. I'm spoiled because I have an artillery genius and the, a review is gonna come very, very soon. It's been a couple of months, I've had it already and I don't know, I mean, guys, if you need to buy a 3D printer in 2021, you definitely need to buy an artillery genius. I live close to the airport. Thank you, airport. silk as I said you can print beautiful stuff beautiful tabletops and that's what I did I started out with this vase that you saw at the beginning it's um it's printed in vase mode 2.0 with 0.8 extrusion width very slow like 40 millimeters per second and it turned out really, really nice. I, I love it. I mean, probably it's one of the best vases I've printed an, until now. Then everybody was telling me about, Alessandro, why don't you print a dragon? Aria the dragon. Uh, there's so many dragons that you can print without support. And they usually look amazing when you print it out in silk or in rainbow colors. And I decided to print it. And guys, 
Of course, there was a bit of stringing here, nothing you can not adjust in post. It's something like, I mean, 205 degrees, like going from one side to the other, retraction uh, wasn't set correctly, but I mean, it really looks nice. I mean, it's a little bit scaled up compared to the original, uh, original model and took roughly, I think, five hours or, or so. But the result is amazing. I mean, it's the silk, you, you can feel it and you can see it. They did a really, really good job at Azure Film. As I said, I mean, I've been reviewing filament for the last couple of months and uh, this silk is, is worthy, especially considering the price. I mean, you can buy Azure Film uh, one kilogram on the website for around like 22, 20, 22 euros, including uh, shipping. Then I printed out something I really loved and I found online. I don't want YouTube to demonetize this. That's why I'm gonna censor it a bit. It's a model of a woman oh, totally printed in vase mode. Sorry, I had to cover the nipples, but guys, this is probably the best tabletop I've ever printed. It's not because it's a woman, it's because it looks beautiful. It looks like a piece of art. And the silk gives this texture and this beautiful curves and lines that the light reflects on that shine and I don't know, it's, 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 it's hard even to explain. Who knows what 3D prints look like? Knows that to have this like smooth effect it's not an easy task, especially because you have to dial in the exact setting, but PLA has to help you on this side. And this PLA really does help you. Then I decided I had to print something useful. And as you can see, I stacked, I did lots of like stackable drawers where I keep all my prints organized and stuff I have to like review or showcase. And I decided to print one in the silk and of course that looks really really good i mean i didn't have any doubt that this would have turned pretty good but i had to do it and this is the result looks really really nice it stacks they stack one on top of each other and this is a great model guys you should look this on thingiverse it's great to organize stuff on your desk Another useful thing I tried to print was this iPhone 8 stand, which turned out decent. Probably this is what this was one of the first prints I was doing with this. Probably temperature was not good uh, when I printed out this, but it works. I mean, I put my phone in, it charges, uh, iPhone cable goes through here and then outside the hole and it works good. It was printed at like 30% infill, so it gives a good base. Overall, it's a great filament, guys. I mean, I was lucky enough to get a sample from Azure. Uh, of course, it comes in one kilogram format. They sent me the 300 grams one, and I'm not gonna print useless stuff. I'm just gonna print stuff that I'm gonna showcase. And uh, that's why you wanna buy uh, a silk PLA. You must check Azure, the website, probably you will find it on Amazon as well. I haven't checked, but I'm sure they're cutting out a deal. That was all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this filament review. It's a really, really nice filament, Com like considering price, price point and quality you get back. Smash the like button if you did like the video, subscribe if you're not yet subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next video.